Welcome teachers. This video will show you how to take a student video from their photos and save it to their Google Drive. After you have worked in iMovie and a student's video has been rendered and exported, it will show up in their photos app. Once you open their photos app, you will notice there are a couple places that it will show up. It will show up in their camera roll. It will also show up in their videos. I'm going to tap on videos. I see here there are two videos. There's the original video that I made about Mount St. Helens, and then there's the video that I used to record the video to explain how students could export a video. So if I click on that video that I, that I created and it was previously available on my YouTube channel, if you would like to send that to Google Drive, and if you would like to have a student send that to Google Drive, you will notice in the upper right-hand corner area there are several icons. You want the share icon, which is the square with the arrow pointing out of it. If you tap on that, you will come up with a number of options. One of those options should be Google Drive. If for some reason Google Drive does not come up, you will need to tap on the More option, and you will need to toggle the Google Drive option so that it is on, so the green is showing. After I do that, I can hit Done, and I will now hit Google Drive in order to export the movie or send the movie to Google Drive. Probably the most important step is the one that I just did, and that is to tap where it says File underscore 000. If you don't do that, the file is just going to have some generic name, and it's going to be very difficult to locate any student's Google Drive. I would highly recommend that you change that name to the, uh, the student, change it to their name. And that way it is very easy for them to find in their Google Drive. And I'm going to hit Upload. And this process may take a couple of minutes in order for the video to upload, obviously depending on how long that video is. Now that the video has finished uploading, it will return to the uh, video editing screen. However, you want to see if it's in Google Drive. So I'm going to back out of videos. I'm going to double tap. I am going to go to my home screen on my iPad. I'm going to locate my Google Drive icon. I'm going to tap to open that. And remember that I named the video your name, so it should be fairly easy to find. Uh, my Google Drive has lots of things in it, so uh, I may need to scroll for a while, depending on how much students have there. It might be easier to find. So I see right there, uh, there is your name video. If I open that, I may get this option. It actually takes a couple of minutes for the video to process, so you may not be able to play it right away. It may take anywhere from two to 10 minutes in order for the video to play. However, if the file uh, shows up there, the video is fine. It will eventually work. It just needs some time to process the video and to upload. So please be aware that that error may happen, but the video is there. If it's visible to you, it's perfectly fine. It is able to be played. Hopefully that will help you with any questions you might have regarding how to send a video from your photo roll or your camera roll to Google Drive. And that will allow students to keep the video for as long as they want, uh, at least until they leave Greencastle Community Schools. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, great luck with iMovie. Thank you.